welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Excuse my appearance, I have no makeup on today. I am editing up a storm so there was no need to really get ready but I wanted to film the intro to today's meal prep because I am so excited for this easy, and I mean easy, peasy, delicious, WW friendly, calorie friendly meal prep. I have three absolutely fantastic recipes for you. I have breakfast, lunch, and a dessert made with zucchini. Yes, a dessert with zucchini. So if you're excited for today's meal prep, give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and kind of lets me know what types of videos to keep putting out and to continue doing these meal prep videos every Monday moving into 2021. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, help me reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We may not make it, but we're close and I'm still grateful for every single subscriber and just hit the little subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you'll find my nutrition coaching website. Moving into 2021, let me give you personalized macros and calories so you kind of know where to fall every day when it comes to your nutrition. I also offer 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions and honestly, nutrition coaching makes a great last minute gift or stocking stuffer. Check out my nutrition nutrition coaching website down in the description box. You'll also find links and discounts to the items I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us. We'd love to have you be part of that community as well. So we've got some easy, fun recipes to make, so let's jump in. For breakfast this week, I am making an oven baked Denver omelet. I love a good Denver omelet, but I don't wanna to have to make it every single day. So this is a quick way to make several Denver omelets in one. It's a simple recipe with simple ingredients. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you'll need some whole milk, some eggs. We actually got these eggs from one of the guys Troy works with. He has tons of chickens. So these are literal farm fresh eggs. I'm so excited. You'll also need a green bell pepper, light shredded cheese, ham, I just bought this cubed ham to make it easy, and an onion. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is chop up our green bell pepper. The recipe calls for half a cup. I'm gonna use the whole bell pepper and our onion. go ahead and get the casserole portion ready. We need eight eggs total. Some of my eggs are fairly small from the chicken, so if it's a small egg, I'll probably crack two of them. And then half of a cup of whole milk, we'll whisk it together before we add in the ham and veggies. So we have our eggs in, they're all mixed together. Now we're adding all of the rest of our ingredients to the egg. So I have one cup of the light shredded cheese. I have an eight ounce package of cubed ham. You could use diced ham. You could really use whatever ham you want. I like the bigger chunks, so I went with the cubed. I am going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. That was not in the original recipe, but I feel like it's gonna be a little bland if I don't add a little bit of seasoning. So just some salt and some pepper. I'm going to give that a quick preliminary stir before I add in the bell pepper and the onion. Last but not least, bell pepper and onion. Give that another stir, just make sure everything is nice and combined. Grab a nine by nine baking dish, spray it really, really well with nonstick spray. We don't want the eggs to stick to the bottom or the sides of your baking dish. And then we are going to pour in the omelet mixture. Doesn't that look delicious? And this is going into an oven at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes or until your eggs are cooked completely through. Denver baked omelet is out of the oven. Doesn't this look so 
delicious. It fluffed up nicely. You can see the ham got a little crispy. This is going to be delicious. So this entire pan makes six servings. So it's a pretty good size serving. It is only three smart points on both blue and purple and five points on green just because you do have to count for the eggs. 208 calories per serving and a whopping 26 grams of protein. Great way to start your day. So I'm going to have that. And then I went ahead and washed up those organic raspberries I picked up from Trader Joe's, put them in my handy dandy container from Costco. So for breakfast, I'll have a slice of my omelet and some raspberries. It's going to be delicious. And for me on the blue plan, it's only three smart points. For lunch this week, I'm making buffalo chicken meatballs. This is a 30 minute recipe, easy. You guys, it's before Christmas, a few days, I'm swamped. So making this meal prep easy peasy is right up my alley. So let me show you what's in our meatballs. First, you're going to need buffalo sauce, whatever your choice is. I tried this the last time I made a buffalo recipe and I love this one, the Sweet Baby Ray's delicious. You'll also need panko breadcrumbs, minced garlic, salt and pepper, a couple of green onions, a stalk of celery, a carrot, one large egg, a pound or pound and a half, whatever your preference is, of extra, extra lean ground chicken. This is the 96.4, so it's zero points on blue and purple. And lastly, some paprika. Let's make some meatballs. First thing I'm going to do is peel and chop my carrot, wash and chop my celery, chop my two green onions, and then we'll start actually putting together the meatballs. This is really the longest part, is just chopping these few vegetables. So now the easy part, we're adding everything to our ground chicken. So I have my pound of ground chicken here in about a medium sized bowl. We are going to add one third cup of our buffalo sauce the equivalent of three cloves of garlic. So I'm just going to put in about a spoonful and a half of minced garlic. We're going to add in some paprika, some salt and pepper, and one third cup of panko breadcrumbs, and one large egg. And then last but certainly not least, we are going to add in the green onion, celery and then you can see i grated the carrots with my cheese grater and then mix this together the trick with these meatballs is do not over mix just mix enough that everything is combined take a baking sheet line it with some parchment paper here is our meatball mixture i ended up going in with my hands which is pretty normal with a meatball mixture and then i pulled out a cookie scoop i picked this three pack up off of amazon it was really affordable there's several sizes I'll link it down below for you. And then I'm just going to use it to dig into the meatball mixture and put it here on my baking sheet. Now it doesn't matter how many meatballs you get, it's five servings per recipe. So if you get five meatballs, it's one meatball per serving. If you get 20 meatballs, it's four meatballs per serving. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop out my meatballs. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Meatballs are going in 400 degrees. Just pop the meatballs out of the oven. Look at how delicious these look, you guys. I think the grated carrots is going to give it a little more structure along with the panko breadcrumbs. They smell absolutely delicious. Now you could stuff them with blue cheese or mozzarella. You could really put your own spin on this recipe. I'm probably going to just have this with some veggies every day. I don't know what veggies. I may do carrots one day. I may have green beans. I don't know. We'll just kind of see what I have on hand, but I'm just going to package all these meatballs up together and have a serving with a veggie every day. So I ended up being one meatball short to have three meatballs for five servings, not a big deal. I'll just go ahead and make this into five servings and just slice one of my large meatballs in half to make it even when I go to eat it. But again, like I said, I'm just gonna pop this all in one big container for storage. But let's go over points because you guys, on the blue plan and the purple plan, this is only one point per serving. So basically almost three full meatballs and you can see mine are big meatballs for only one smart point. It is two points on the green plan with the counting of the 
ground chicken as well as the little bit of egg, which didn't actually affect the points at all. It's more the ground chicken. So it's two points per serving on the green plan. And remember, this entire sheet pan makes five servings, 164 calories per serving and about 20 grams of protein. For a healthy sweet treat before Christmas, I am making zucchini brownies. These are healthy, but they're fudgy and delicious. The zucchini just makes them moist and fudgy. I promise, promise you don't taste the zucchini. Let me show you what's in our brownies. First, you'll need some all-purpose flour, unsweetened applesauce, maple syrup or honey, whatever your preference is, cocoa powder of your choice. I'm gonna be using this Trader Joe's, baking soda, vanilla extract, one large egg, lots of zucchini because we need an entire two cups grated for the recipe, and lastly, some salt. So let's make some brownies. First thing I'm going to do is grate the zucchini. I'm actually going to grate all four of these or at least until I have two cups using my little grater. Let's start our brownies. We're gonna go ahead and start with wet ingredients. I'm going to crack in one large egg one third cup of unsweetened applesauce and that's in place of oil one half cup of pure maple syrup or honey whatever you decided to use and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then we are going to whisk this together until it is incorporated i'm going to add in one half of a cup of cocoa powder and a pinch of salt and whisk until incorporated I then added in one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and again, whisk until incorporated. I have two cups of grated zucchini. I did go ahead and squeeze out as much moisture as I could get out in a paper towel and then added it back into my measuring cup. And we're going to mix that in until fully combined. Lastly, we're going to add just a pinch of salt and one cup of all-purpose flour. And then once again, stir until incorporated. Pull out a nine by nine baking dish, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Look at this brownie mix. It looks incredible. We're going to add it to a baking dish and smooth it out nice and even with the back of the spatula. We're going to put this in a 375 degree oven and cook for 25 to 28 minutes. You want the center to be barely jiggly. And when you insert your toothpick, you don't want it to come out completely clean. So essentially we're gonna under bake these a little bit because they'll continue to bake in the pan as they cool. Zucchini brownies are out of the oven. These smell so good. My house literally smells like a dream. We need to let these cool for about an hour until they're completely cooled before we cut them and remove them out of the pan. One hour later. But I've cut my brownies into eight. So these are huge, huge brownies. Here's one that I went ahead and put out on a plate for you. Look at how ooey, gooey, and fudgy that is. These are the most moist brownies I've ever had. It's the zucchini. And again, you definitely don't taste it. It just makes them moist and fudgy and delicious. So one eighth of the brownie pan is only five points. So this entire brownie slash slice of cake, it's that big, is only five points on all plans. Each brownie is 148 calories. Now, if this brownie is too big for you, you can certainly cut each one in half and make 16 brownies and they would only be three smart points a piece. So whatever your preference is, go big or go home in my opinion. But yeah, these are awesome. I am so excited. This is going to be my dessert tonight. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited as I am about these three recipes. Again, they are incredibly, incredibly easy. So definitely take advantage of them, make them for the holidays, help you stay on track before and after. You'll find all of these recipes on my website, which is in the description box, along with my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to my favorite things, my Facebook group, and of course, course, before you go, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me. And again, kind of lets me know what you guys want to see moving into the new year. And last but not least, subscribe and turn the bell on next to it. Help me reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers, even if it's after the first of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas, happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you tomorrow.